the Trend KWJ900 kitchen worktop jig. Cut and join both parts of a worktop in less than 15 minutes with this versatile tool. It's made from a lightweight, hard-wearing laminate, perfect for use on site or in the workshop. It's suitable for routing left-hand and right-hand corner joints at 90 or 45 degrees, as well as curved peninsulas, 40 and 100 millimeter radius cuts, end cuts, kitchen door holes, and three quarter inch BSP holes for mixer taps. The jig also enables you to route perfectly aligned recesses for dog bone style connectors, which pull the joints together. The Trend KWJ900 works with all standard kitchen worktop sizes up to 900 millimeters with or without post-formed edges. To set up the jig, first decide which joint is required. In this case, it's a 90 degree right-hand joint. Engraved markings on the jig make it clear which joint you need. This corresponds with a detailed illustrated instruction manual. To make the female joint, cut the worktop to size and lay it face up on the workbench. Identify the F90 holes and insert the pins as this defines a 90 degree female cut. Ensure that the pins always go below the surface. For a 45 degree joint, the F45 holes would be used. This worktop is 600 millimeters deep and so pins are inserted into the holes labeled 600. Position the jig so that the pins push against the worktop and then clamp the jig in place. The router should be used with a 30 mm guide bush. When routing, start from the left side and take several passes to achieve a clean cut. The rotating turret stop on the Trend T10 router can be used to speed up this process. To route perfectly positioned panel connector recesses, flip the worktop around with the post-formed edge facing towards you. Place three pins in the holes marked B and secure the jig with clamps. The depth of the recesses should be deep enough for the panel connector to sit centrally within the thickness of the worktop. The female worktop can now be put in position. To cut the male side of the joint, the steps are similar. This time position the worktop face down and insert pins into the holes labelled M90. 45 degree joints would use the M45 holes. Then clamp the jig and make the cut. For walls which are not perfectly square, overlay the worktop in the correct final position on top of the female piece. For the bolt recess cuts, flip the jig, keep the worktop facing down and use the pinholes labelled B. Additionally, joints can be strengthened with biscuit dowels. Be sure to coat the cut edges with a water-resistant adhesive or sealant before assembly to prevent moisture entering the joints. The Trend Kitchen worktop jigs are also great for finishing the ends of a worktop. Draw a line on the worktop, which is 8.5 millimeters from each edge. Align the required end cut and clamp the jig in place. Always start from the post-formed edge and take multiple passes to avoid any breakout. The same process is required for 45 degree cuts, 40 and 100 millimeter radius cuts, and curved peninsula cuts, great for breakfast bars. To cut circular hinge recesses, insert two pins along the edge of the jig. Push the jig up against the workpiece, clamp the jig in place, and route in a clockwise direction at a depth of 10 millimeters. This will create perfect hinges every time. The same technique is used to create three quarter inch BSP tap holes. The Trend KWJ700 kitchen worktop jig is perfect for kitchen fitters looking to save time and increase accuracy.